Hello everybody, Gavin McCormack here. And this week we've been talking all about mathematics. In particular, we've been talking about investing and how certain amounts of money in different modules of investment will bring back different returns. This is called interest and the interest comes back into your bank account. But one thing we haven't talked about is compound interest and exponential growth. And this is where numbers get big, but they get big very quickly indeed. And this brings me to a story, an ancient Chinese story about a Chinese emperor and what's called a sage. Now the sage was his servant in the house, doing the gardening, doing the cooking, doing the housekeeping. And one evening, the emperor took him to one side and asked him if he would like to play a game of chess. The sage accepted and they sat down in a table in the emperor's palace. And the emperor turned to the sage and said, look, if you win, I will give you anything you desire. Anything that I have, you can have too. If you win, you can have my house, you can have my land, you can also have my money. The sage accepted and they played a game of chess which lasted many, many hours. In the end, the sage won the game. And when the emperor turned to him and said, look, you have won the game fair and square. You can now choose anything you want in the house. He turned to the emperor and said, I would like one grain of rice on the first square on this chessboard. And all I want you to do, emperor, is double it for every single square. So on the first square, there would be one grain of rice. On the second square, there would be two. On the third square, there would be four. On the fourth square, there would be eight, and so on and so on. Now, it may sound to you like the sage had made a big mistake asking for such a simple request. However, by the time you get to the end of the chessboard, there is not just a few grains of rice, but there are actually almost 19 quintillion grains of rice. And if you wanted to buy that much rice, it would cost you around about $235 trillion. And just to put that in perspective, the biggest company on the planet is worth around $4 trillion. He would have inherited 235 And to tell you how big that is in size, it would be the same size of Mount Everest, but built out of grains of rice. This was a story where the sage made a wonderful decision, and he also knew about exponential growth and interest. This week has been an amazing week, and I hope this story has inspired you to think about how exponential growth can play a part in your daily routines and play a part in achieving some of those goals. Thank you so much. Goodbye.